if we have a one-dimensional periodic function, what could we read from its spectrum? Each component on the spectrum represents a sine wave. The original function is equal to the sum of all the wave components. Similarly, if we have the spectrum of a two-dimensional function, each point on the spectrum represents a two-dimensional wave with the wave vector k. The original two-dimensional function is equal to the sum of all the wave components. The two-dimensional Fourier transform can be either calculated by mathematical formula or be implemented simply by an imaging system. If an object is illuminated by a plane wave, it will emit plane waves with different propagation directions. Each plane wave corresponds to a Fourier component of the original object. Large emitting angles correspond to high spatial frequency. If we put a screen on the post focus of the lens, the two-dimensional Fourier transform pattern will appear on the screen. By placing a baffle on the Fourier plane, we can design different filters for the imaging system. The central pass baffle is equivalent to a low pass filter, will blur the image. The baffle that blocks the central light is equivalent to a high pass filter, will make the boundary of the object clearer. We can also design a band pass filter or a low pass filter at some certain direction, etc. The lens itself is a low pass filter. High spatial frequency will exceed the lens and cannot be imaged. Small lens will drop more high spatial frequency information than big lens. As a result, the imaging resolution for big lens is larger than that for small lens. However, the price for a big lens is much higher than that for a small lens. Is there any way to use a small lens to get high resolution image? Yes. If you take photo for the object at a different angle and do two-dimensional Fourier transform for each image, you will get different fraction of the original spectrum. Using some mathematical method to reconstruct the original spectrum and do inverse Fourier transform, you will get image with high resolution. This method is called Fourier tachography. One thing we need to concern for the two-dimensional Fourier transform is how to record its phase information. Usually the recording material in the camera, such as CCD or film, is only sensitive to the intensity. It cannot record phase information. Is there any way to record phase on a film? A holography film can record phase information. In a holography system, the object is illuminated by a plane wave, and some plane waves with different directions are emitted. At the same time, we introduce another plane wave that is coherent to the original one. This wave will interfere with the waves emitted by the object and form different groups of stripes on the film. Each group corresponds to a Fourier spectrum component of the original object. The relative positions of the stripes record the phase information. To reconstruct the image, we can either use a plane wave to, to illuminate the holography film, or we can do two-dimensional Fourier transform for the film, extract a sideband, and do inverse Fourier transform. 